All right, guys, reviewing A Boogie's Better Off Alone album. Waiting on this for a while, and the day is finally here. Boogie's releases up to this point have been extreme fire. So I was hoping that the full length project lived up to the quality of the EPs. And it's safe to say, this man delivered tenfold. I gotta start with the only real problems I have with it, which is very few. The first being, in my opinion, there's no real good rap banger on it. Songs like Macaroni, like Say A, Timeless, I feel are an essential part of an A Boogie album. And on BOA, it feels like Stubbas is supposed to be that, but I hate that song. It's flat in every way, vocal performance beat, I hate it. The second is the song Let's Go Away featuring Young Thug. Mainly my gripe with it is Young Thug's verse here is so underwhelming. Especially because the R&B-ish vocal performance he attempts on that track, he's killed before. If you think about Offshore on Ray Summer's Strum Life 3. So it's really hard not to compare those two songs. And this one is very lackluster, while A Boogie's part is really hard. And that's where my complaints with the album stop entirely. A Boogie's Bitter Off Alone is one of the hardest rap R&B, r and bass albums I've ever heard. It's probably the best album A Boogie has ever put out. You can tell he really locked in to what got him to the point where he is now on songs like Friend Zone. It feels like BOA is the evolved version of that original style. It's the final form of that style. I'm constantly playing P&E, Body, Need You Around, Spotlight, Somebody, among so many others. Yes, if I really had to nitpick and complain, I guess maybe, do I see a big smash like Swerve in? I don't know, but I could be proven wrong, you know, Records these days, if you give it some time to build, a surprise record could be the hit. But that's being super nitpicky. At the end of the day, I think the album is damn near flawless. Scoring A Boogie's Better Off Alone, a 9.4 out of 10. Crack Rock.